Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the last of us part one game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to disconnect if you have any additional joystick or controller connected to the computer. So disconnect additional controller. Also unplug these devices. So if you have any kind of USB adapter which you are not using is connected to the computer, disconnect it. So disconnect all the external devices which you are not using and then launch the game. If you have any kind of virtual controller connected, you can disable or uninstall them and then launch the game and then check the controller. Now still the controller is not working, then the next step is to disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the controller tab and then select disable Steam input. Now check, still you are facing the problem, then you can try enabling the Steam input. So try enable, but for many users disabling Steam input has worked, so you can try this and then check. Now still you are facing the problem then configure the controller. Now for this go to Steam. On the top left click on Steam then click on settings. Now go to controller tab and then click on general controller settings. Now over here if you are using PlayStation controller then put a check on PlayStation configuration support. And then your controller should be detected over here. Now if you are using Xbox controller then put a check on xbox configuration support your controller should be detected over here and then check now still you're facing the problem in that case the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode and then launch the game so on the top right over here you can see the big picture mode icon click on it Now find the game over here and launch the game in big picture mode and then check. Now still you are facing the problem in that case. Now this is for PS5 controller user. You can use REWASD software or you can use DS4 Windows application and then check the controller. Now for Xbox controller user, install Xbox Accessories app. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now once store is open, on the top in the search box type in Xbox Accessories And then click on Xbox Accessories app. Now if this is not installed, you will see install option or get option. So install it, then open Xbox Accessories app. Now you have to connect your Xbox controller to the computer. So you have to use the USB cable to connect your Xbox controller to the computer. Once you connect the Xbox controller with the help of cable to the computer, over here you will see three dots. Right now I have not connected using the USB cable. Once you connect it, just over here you will find three dots. Click on the three dots and then you can click on update firmware. So you will see the update firmware option. So update your Xbox controller and then launch the game and then check. Now the last step is to use wired controller. So if nothing is working, in that case you can use the wired connection for the controller and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.